What is going on, Lunatic? I gave you what was going to happen, and guess what? Here we are. We're going to talk about it right now. Ceramic has issued a proposal for a repeg. We're going to we're going to go over it on the surface. We're not going to break everything down. I'm going to encourage you to go check it out. I'll put a link uh, so that you can go check it out uh, in the first comment that's pinned, and you can read it for yourself and figure out uh, if you like it and what kind of changes. You know, have a conversation about it. So, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. Uh, if you like me hit the subscribe button. If you don't like me, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you can talk mad shit about me in the comment section every day. Tell me things like, well, the content was never going to go into a penny. It's never going to do that. And that's the way you talk when you're in my head saying stupid shit like that. So, um, no offense, right? That means I can say it. Anyway, let's kick it off. All right. So, uh, Leonardo Lunk put out the ceramic theory white paper. Now, um, this is the adoption of the uh, CMM to manage USTC capital flows, and that's, I think, the commercialized market maker, you know, whatever it is. Introduction, theory, white paper comments, community questions, general comments. Now, here's the t number. First one up here was this, and that was right after Terraform Labs is gone. The theory white paper is published. A few changes were made in the last 24 hours to it as he was working through the process. November 14, Commonwealth discussion. So we'll be seeing this in a couple of days. Then November 21, 21 implementation white paper. Then the Commonwealth discussion on that. Then the repeg governance proposal. Guys, it's coming. Uh, and then we'll have the voting. And then we'll have the yes implementation starts by December 19. Guys, I cannot stress enough that this is going to change everything about the Luna Classic ecosystem in the event that we as a community decide on the adoption. So what does it look like? Well, let's check it out. It's collateralized. It's a collateral market maker that controls USTC capital flows that would create a sovereign unit of account for Terra Classic. The CMN, the CMN controls capital flows through USTC through the collateralization ratio, which is the total supply of USTC divided by yield-bearing deflationary collateral. The CMM first raises fees to prevent capital outflows under market stress as measured by high volumes. If the outflows continue until CR is under the swap ratio, the CMM, by the way, swap ratio probably going to be like the peg, um, you know, of whatever dollar amount that we're talking about. Uh, once the CR is above the mint ratio, USTC is minted for five purposes, purchasing and burning lunatic Classic, rewards to Terra Classic validators, yield to UST stakers, yield to USTY stakers, and purchase and burning of USTY in order to reboot USTC safely. All existing USTC is automatically swapped to USTY. The CMM will gradually bring USTY back to a $1 floor. So what we're doing is we're swapping, uh, according to this, we're going to swap USTC for USTY at a one-to-one -one ratio with a new smart contract, which of course will allow for what we're trying to do right here. So, uh, Terra Classic is a sovereign economy with free flow of goods and services between itself and other virtual and physical sovereigns. Uh, Terra Classic validators vote on proposals that determine the network. This is basically some, some background. USTC is meant to be the world's best decentralized sovereign currency. Operating a currency provides opportunity for the sovereign to purchase, pursue a, ver a variety of objectives. Okay, so we got the idea here. Uh, to reduce the intensity of recessions, this is the reasoning behind um, USTC. Uh, first, and this is where we get into it right here. My recommendation has three parts. First, I recommend the swap of all existing USTC to USTC, USTY and restart the supply of USTC at zero. Currently, USTC does not function as a unit of account as it is far too volatile. On a technical level, this swap requires very minor changes to the protocol. Swapping USTC to USTY requires no changes to the protocol as it can be done purely by rebranding and renaming the tokens represented by the identifier in the code UUSD. All dApps, centralized exchanges, and blockchain token bridges automatically support this change as there is no alteration to the underlying code. Then USTC can be restarted with a supply of zero simply by adding a new identifier, UUSTC. Second, I advise creating a collateral market maker to replace the current algorithmic stable system. The CMM will contain a treasury with strict capital controls that are set based on governance set parameters. Under normal conditions, arbitrage trader can maintain USTC's price universally by swapping collateral with the CMM. The CMM automatically sets volume-based fees to generate revenue under conditions of market stress while maintaining low or now fees under normal conditions to maintain USTC's value as a unit of account to reduce the risks of capital flight. The CMM also has two special conditions. First, 
If excessively under collateralized, it locks all swaps until its treasury is back over a reboot parameter. Second, if excessive over collateralized, it grants freedom to the Terra Classic validators to set monetary policy from the network by minting USTC to be distributed to ecosystem actors selected by the protocol. For instance, the validators may decide to use the USTC to purchase and burn Luna Classic, pay themselves rewards, or they may decide to stimulate economic activity by providing APR to USTY and USTC stakers. Validators will have several tools from the CMM to allocate benefits to themselves, lunk holders, and ecosystem traders. Uh, and then this is what you would kind of, this, this is sort of what it will look like right here. Uh, you've got the burn over here, you've got the open market, and then you've got the treasury and how things would flow from the open market to the treasury, from the treasury back to the open market with a small burn coming out at each um, the opportunity and then um, this would be on the open market you would see the same thing it's just, just a reverse of the, the situation UST's goals uh, design may have been flawed but its goals have not guys you're going to have to read this whole thing uh, if you want uh, to check it out to get an idea uh, so we're going to have a discussion about this we're going to start to look at some of these people and what they've done it's very long we're at page 50 there's about 14 pages 13 pages for you to review and go over and look guys we're gonna have to pick this thing apart and figure out uh, you know what we're talking about and this by the way is we're talking about this over the uh, the the course of years and what we're saying here is if there's a billion USTC supply with a collateralized value of 2.5 billion um, you know the the amount of burns for Luna Classic would be 75 billion so we're talking about um, a, a lot of burning so there's a great opportunity here right now uh, to see significant Donald Trump has won the 2024 election crypto is a parabolic and you don't have enough crypto that's where cryptonomy.finance comes in you can stake your crypto we've got about nine months before the big part of the bull market is really kicking off so this is your last opportunity your final opportunity to set yourself up a long-term fixed staking plan and guys, you're going to want to have some Tron, some XRP, some Ethereum, some Bitcoin, some of whatever it is that you like. Right now is the best time to take advantage of the opportunity to accumulate desired assets. And there's over 800 tokens available for staking where you can earn up to 180% APY. Also, for me, there is a competition happening right now in which I could win a prize by referring you guys over. I'm going to make another Tron deposit today because I've told you before, I think Justin is going to be one of the goats in this industry. Folks, one of my high confidence plays is Tron. I'm putting 2,600 Tron into a nine-month staking protocol with a yield of 71.8%. That's going to give me about four to 5,000 Tron by the time this is done. All right, guys, my Tron is set up. I am ready to go. This bull market is getting ready to happen. As we approach the end of the year, Crypto is going to be hosting numerous giveaways, just like in previous years. It's become a tradition. Uh, you, uh, you've got Halloween prizes, you've got Christmas prizes, and you've got newsletters that will allow you to see exactly what's going on. Don't forget the important part, in my opinion, and that is the launch pool. We've created multiple contracts over here. We're not creating a new one today, but as you can see from the returns that we're getting over here, they're getting significant multipliers with every investment for the launch pool. So make sure that you sign up for the launch pool today. Upwards mobility in the entire system if we decide that this is the thing. So um, there you have it. We actually have a burn protocol that we're going to start voting on, that we're going to start looking at. Uh, the important part now is there's about six days before it posts on Commonwealth. When it posts on Commonwealth, I assume there will be quite a, a big discussion about what's going on. Currently on Commonwealth, there's the coin market cap access uh, being given over to all nodes. That's really what we're talking about at this point. So uh, I would encourage you to go check this out and read through it. Now, as far as meme coins go, we're gonna try to keep this a little bit quicker today. Meme coins still struggling a little bit. Terra Luna Classic not struggling as much, but of course it's already down pretty significantly. The proposal to review and test support of the reverse charge mechanism has already come up to this point, so I'm sure it's going to pass with flying colors. It looks like it's 100% at this point, So, and it was also voted at 100% to begin with, so uh, we can start that pretty soon. Now, as far as price goes, we're up about $20 billion overall in the market on the day, and Ethereum is the one that's really having a nice little run and a nice little breakout, but uh, there are some other things like Crow, um, uh, Conf, um, Centrifuge, 
you know, there's a couple of other ones that are having just an, just nice little, l nice little runs. Um, so, uh, are we having an altcoin season yet? Not exactly. We're, we're, we're getting closer and closer and closer. We're just not exactly there yet. But here's the thing. It would seem that a lot of the sell pressure has started to dissipate and disappear. So that's going to be a pretty good thing overall for this market. And I think people are going to be pretty happy about that. But um, to Luna Classic, it looks like to me that we're really just kind of uh, moving along in this little, so I want to point this out. You know, we're kind of, no matter how you look at it, other than this, which does and should still give you a little bit of cause for concern, that little downward dip right there. Now this does, because that really has not completed its full move yet. I would like to think that it has when I look at this right here and I look at the direction that we appear to be going. If we were to assume that this right here was just kind of a flash crash uh, happening back in August, then we really are on an upward trend and we can look at it from this context, right? Um, this came to this, but then after this, we got this right here and we got this right here as our bottom. So it would indicate that we're in this upward trend. So that means that the upward momentum should continue. The problem would be right about here to here. And as you can see, we're consolidating in this range. Now, problem with that is that we're coming from the upward region, which means that we're consolidating for a drop, of course, until we don't drop anymore. Now, uh, the last time we saw this kind of condition was right here and a little bit longer, but it was all here and here. And then we got the reversal right here, which we got the reversal right here. And then boom, that's when we came up and we hit the top of that range again, which again, I suspect that that's what's getting ready to happen. Now, that's about a two or three X from where we are right now. There's going to be an impetus for this. Now, the impetus for that should be a giant amount of burns. Uh, it should be a continuation of those burns. It, it should be everything that's going on so far. Uh, but you know, when you come over to stake bin, you're, you're still not burning a huge amount. We're still waiting for the remaining burns from the, these these wallets, right? Uh, let's you know, we don't want to get it twisted here. We we want to look at the top holders, and we still see some big wallets that are unidentified that we think might be part of um, TFL or. Um, uh, the LFG or something like that. When we look at the USTC, don't forget, we just have 1.8 billion sitting here uh, from LFG and we've got 290 million still sitting in the Terraform Labs wallet. So uh, we, and we know this is the case and where is that 290 million burn? That 290 million burn would significantly affect the total supply and the circulating supply leading to a radical pump in the price. But I mean, again, you just kind of look around and you can see what's going on. Now, as far as the market goes, this is Bitcoin's market until it's not. And it looks like it's kind of flipped over just a little bit for Ethereum to start to have a rally and, and to sort of catch up, if you will. And Solana, by the way, now at $204, almost to its previous top over here, not the all-time high, that was 260, but this local high over here, it looks like we're getting back to that range. Now, that being said, I, I do think that we're in uh, we're, we're in a position right now where there's going to be a really big move, an explosive sort of move coming uh, in very short order here. So I would be watching for a breakout coming very, very soon off of the anticipation that this repeg is significant and legitimate. And right now, there's no exposure for it because it just came out and we're trying to digest. Now... Once we get past the digestion portion and we start to have the conversation about what's next, I think we're going to see something just crazy start to happen um, with price action. So um, right up here, look, we should be testing all-time highs at some point very, very soon. Okay, that's that's what I'm trying to say here. I think that you know we're 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 coming upon a, a moment in time here where things are going to get crazy. Um, speaking of things getting crazy. 2 million euros being given away by Terra Casino. So guys, you got to go check out Terra Casino. There's an immersive roulette, roulette lobby. Um, people, again, we got people over here playing. They just gave away $2.5 million. You got to sign up though. You got to sign up in the description down below. Um, it, it First of all, it helps me out. Secondly, it helps you out, uh, especially if you like risk-based gaming. Also, if you're looking for meme coins, the meme coin place is terraport.finance right now. Uh, you can earn 
I've got my stake up in six more days, earning just a little bit of Terra. But uh, the launch pad over here, I've got uh, 8,000 right now. I'm down to 2,000 more. So about 10 days, it looks like I'll... Uh, I'll have enough uh, if I were to just kind of let it ride. But I think, you know, what I need to do, maybe just buy another 10,000 or so and see what happens. You know what I mean? So um, that'll allow me to to to, to start doing some of this uh, farming, if you will. Uh, also, you can liquid stake. You can yield farm. So a lot of stuff that you can do over here on this. So, guys, that's it. I'm going to try to keep this short for you for today. Uh, we now have the proposal of proposals out. The question right now is, do we have something that's good? And I'm going to let the technical guys figure that out. It's not my business, not my concern. Um, my concern is price go up. You know what I mean? So uh, let's see what happens over the next couple of days. Again, I'm going to put the link down in the comment section so you can go to it, read it yourself, and decide whether or not you like it. This is not financial advice, but I'm always right. And I am super excited about where Luna Classic is going. And I hope you are too.